Welcome to the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum, a treasure trove of history. That's right, Max. The museum shares and protects the history of your city. Since 1896, we've collected objects, books, photographs, and more from members of the community, just like you and your families. And these items help us to understand how our community has changed over time, what's important to the people who live here, how diverse and special this region is, and so much more. The museum has over 70,000 objects and over 6,000 cubic feet of photographs and documents in our collection. That's a lot of stuff. Museums think of our collection like a big puzzle. How can you pull together the puzzle pieces of photographs, objects, maps, newspapers, and more to tell meaningful stories about our city? You need detective skills, history detective skills, so, what is a history detective? Turn to your neighbor and share your ideas. If we think of the past, our community's history, as a bit of a mystery, the museum collection is made up of a lot of great evidence. History detectives solve the mysteries of the past using evidence. What kind of evidence do you think history detectives use to solve mysteries? Turn to your neighbor and share. Museums have artifacts, or objects, that tell stories. Artifacts can be old, like this tiny shark tooth from our collection. It's 70 million years old. New, like this prom dress from the year 2021. Big, like the 1903 El Paso County Courthouse, where the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum lives. Small, like this tiny elephant with the body of a walnut. If you've been to a museum before, Close your eyes and imagine an artifact you saw during your visit. Museums also have documents. Throughout history, people have recorded their lives in documents. Think of newspapers, diaries and journals, important papers like birth certificates, and so much more. Can you think of other examples of documents? Museums also have photographs. Have you ever heard the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words? Photographs are amazing evidence of the past. Think of all the things you and your family take pictures of. We can learn so much about people, places, and events from photographs. Think about the last photograph you took. What story do you think it might tell? History detectives are dedicated to exploring, protecting, and sharing stories from the past. Now, can you help us with a major problem? There aren't enough history detectives. A team of certified history detectives is visiting your school today. We are here to recruit and train the next generation of history detectives. Are you up for the challenge? Today you will go through a series of missions. Each mission is designed to train you to identify historical evidence, documents, photographs, and artifacts. Figure out what you can learn about your community's history using that evidence, answering historical questions, developing some top secret, super awesome detective skills. Think invisible ink pen. 
you will rotate between classrooms and a different mission agent, aka certified history detective, will lead you through the mission. To help you keep track of your training program, you have each been given a detective notebook. You will use this to work through each mission and record your observations. If, and only if, you are successful, you will receive the official stamp upon completing that mission. After receiving all mission stamps, you will officially become a history detective. You can use these new skills in the classroom, at home, and beyond. What mysteries will you go on to solve? It is extremely important that you listen closely to each mission agent. We will provide instructions and tips on how to be successful. If you have questions or ideas that you would like to share, please raise your hand like this. Please never look ahead for each activity. Focus on the task at hand. You do not want to compromise the mission. You'll often work with the team. All good history detectives rely on a great team. Perhaps Sarah has the incredible power of observation. She may notice something you don't. Maybe Devin has amazing decoder skills. He can help your team be successful. Teamwork, patience, and good communication is key. If you are struggling, your mission agent and teachers are here to help. Since our agents are visiting your classroom, the same rules apply. Whatever your school and teachers expect of you are exactly what these missions require. Keep up the great work. Now, are you ready for your first mission? To get started, come up with your secret agent name and write it on the front of your notebook. Hmm, how about using your birthday? If you were born on August 23rd, you could be Agent 823. Good idea, Max. Or is your pet named Fluffy? How about Agent Fluffy? What is your favorite color? How about Agent Yellow? Ooh, or do you have a top secret nickname that only your family knows? That could be perfect. Or, what is the name of the street that you live on? You could be Agent Montebello. <laughs> Any other great ideas? Quickly decide and write it down. Agents, the time is now. Unleash your creativity. 